it's always a lovely time to sit here and discuss issues concerning you, concerning me, concerning all of us in Nigeria and of course Nigerians in diaspora. Last week we started a conversation, it was on how to exchange two words and make them very practical, or make the one we exchange very practical, that is removing bullying and uh, replacing it with love. And we zeroed in on school children, bullying children, students, bullying students. However, as we discussed, a whole lot of things came out and we mentioned that sometimes this is picked up from the homes. That simply tells me that uh, there is a, a sort of bullying happening within the homes. There is also bullying within the office or work environment. It could be in the market, it does happen. We will be looking at that, bullying outside your home, your workplace, and bullying between two people who are living together. It could be boyfriends, it could be cohabitants, it could be married people, whatever it is. But we want to ensure that we discuss it and make sure that we replace that word, bullying, with love and get to express it right. My name is Elizabeth Abai, and I still have my women seated. Yes, yeah, somebody asked me uh, last uh, yesterday, actually, if we all gather here to discuss or to gossip. I say it's a blend of the two and it's intentional because um, out of every gossip women do, there is a change, positive change. And that's what we're doing here. My name is Elizabeth again and I know... Of course, it's good to be here again. I'm Lola and good to be here. Elizabeth. Thank you. Uh, good morning. My name is Maimu Naomi Abdullah, aka Coach Didi. Okay. My name is Deva Hamatian Mom. Okay. My name is Joe Panache and it's good to be here. Right. Now, last week, um, it was very emotional. It was heated, in fact. It was um, something that was entirely. And a lot of people wrote in. We could not take in completely what um, uh, you wrote. But we promised you before we you know, shut down, we're going to be taking some of your messages. I know uh, he's ready and already had them packaged. Uh, he, can we look at the messages and get to respond to them? Mr. Abdelatif Babatunde Iyanda, thanks to social media that exposes the internal suffering many students are facing in the school, most especially non-troubled children. Gracefully, this limelight on social media is another advantage. By now, brutal children will change their ways. Greetings, Ma. This is Oluchi from Lagos. Bullying can reduce to some extent when parents pay closer attention to their children by asking them each day what they encounter in school. My opinion on this topic from what Mrs. Joy said, intentionality from parents is key. When a parent instills it in the child and sounds it as important to their children, it will sink in and make a child know that bullying is a no-no from them. Tonye from Boney Island. Always ask your child to report any act of bullying on him. Telling him that bullying is part of the school activities is dangerous. As a day will come, he may be injured and he will not tell you. But it can result to child's untimely deaths. Honorable Basanta in Okonachi, Ogugu. Good morning to the studio crew. I appreciate the girl that was being calm. She brought honor to her family and shows how humble her family is. Jerry Abbey from Taraba. Bullying happens almost every day in schools. This child was lucky that the episode was captured. If not, she might not even tell her parents. Good discussion. Please, what is happening to that mother? Hasn't been swept under the carpet? That girl must not go unpunished. And I think the NTA must follow this case. Ibrahim from Lube. Victor from Lagos says, another bullying a lot of people don't look at is a complete adult asking a child for biscuits and that child refuses and you snatch it from that child. That adult is teaching a child something bad unaware. If my child tells you she doesn't want you, I take her away from you. 
I am investing a lot of my time on my little girl, and I want her to grow with lots of love for herself and to others. My name is Marvelous Richard. What I saw in that video shocked me. The girl was just slapping her frequently. For that girl, she has luck she wasn't near. If not, she go collect. That single act wasn't good enough on that girl that was bullied. However, I commend that girl for not slapping back. Who knows if the girl slapping her has been killed spiritually. A very good topic. Please, when next you need some specialized guests, e.g. behavioral psychologist or clinical psychologist, to explain why the girl did not react and why others were reacting. Environment or genetic factors may interplay. That victim girl in the video should be emulated as a peace symbol. Note, she may have loads of anger in her. She needs to be celebrated. Taiwo Hassan from Lagos. If you slap my child, I will personally slap you. Good morning. I advise serious awareness in all schools, offices, and homes, and also for us to teach our children not to be violent, but learn how to defend themselves. Mrs. Lehman from Niger State. At least we kept to our promises. We told you that we'll be relating with you and reading your messages. We've just done that. A whole lot of things came up there. We may not go to answer it, but I just want to maybe uh, pick on the one that talked about uh, bringing a specialist. If you really watch the program, you would have noticed that we actually have a life coach and mental health coach here. That's Coach Didi. And some of us here are actually master's degree holders in psychology. So we may not display it, but we are all very good in the topic. And of course, NTA is following the story. Whatever the turn of event is, you'll be getting it. If you follow our news channels, our news handle, we always update. Now, some people wrote about um, parenting being intentional and all of that. And then some other persons talked about um, the girl being honored as a symbol of peace. I actually want to, you know, toe that line because I think all the super giving people ambassador of peace, mm -hmm. this girl should be a typical example of what a real ambassador of peace should be. But going beyond that, in parenting, what happens? You can't give what you don't have. Mm -hmm. sure. We have been told that parenting should be intentional and parents should also not teach their children some of these um, habits. But what happens if the father is bullying the mother at home? What happens if the mom is also bullying the father at home? Yeah. It does happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Devin, I don't know. <clears throat> That's actually quite true. Uh, you know, there's so much marriage. By the time you get into marriage, you come to realize that those uh, picture-perfect scenarios we read in novels don't actually exist. Yeah. Most of what you see in all these Hollywood depictions are just what it is, fantasy. That's not what it really is on ground. And until you have two mature people who have already learned how to temper their tongues and their temperament before they came into marriage, Two people with unbridled tongues can make a very toxic environment. Because by the time this person is trying to express their frustration, instead of going straight to the point of focusing on what the issue is, they go personal. Let's say, for instance, you're unhappy because your husband comes home late every night. Instead of sitting him down and saying, sweetheart, listen, when you don't come home and you don't tell me where you are and I can't reach you, I get very worried. And from that anger, from that uh, worry, anxiety comes, frustration, it turns to anger. You put me on edge. Please stop doing this. Instead of just saying that, somebody who has not learned how to use their mouth to deal with situations will go personal. Insults. You are a fool. You are this, you are that, you never know how to do this, you've never been able to do this, this is this, your family is this, 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 this. And at the end of the day, when you're done with all the insults, you find that you have not actually dealt with what you were actually trying to talk about. The man too in anger begins to respond likewise. And 
you think that because this child is two or three years old, it doesn't matter, they don't know anything. No, that's not true. They are picking up a vibe. Even if they don't fully understand the words very well yet, they are picking up on that negative energy. They are learning that to solve problems, you need to scream, you need to yell, you need to use verbal abuse, possibly f physical abuse. It all starts, it's, it's a ripple effect. This person that is insulting her husband probably picked it up from her own house. Well, it was okay to throw insults around. You could insult your siblings, you could, your parents insulted each other, so you felt that was the way to solve these problems. You do it in your own home, your children pick it up, they do it in school. So it's just one, it just keeps going around and round and round. It takes at least one person to break that cycle. cycle. Yeah, yes. Our generation is lucky. Our parents, were, our mothers and fathers were not as lucky. Um, we are aware that there's such a thing as trauma. I think many people are aware mm -hmm. of trauma. We also know that there are things you can do about trauma that many of us are not doing despite the fact that we know. You don't have to be a drug addict. You, 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 know, you don't need to be so you don't smoke when we put lots, they run naked for road. If you know that you have, many of us know, you know when you have an attitude, you have an issue with you, you that doesn't have to do with people outside. Look for small money. Find a psychologist, I mean, a psychiatrist, maybe a coach <laughs> that will tell us better. I just know that there are professionals that can help us. Yeah. Many, many people know when they are not being... You know, you know what you're saying, I think that um, our people, not just here, even outside Nigeria, once you mention psychiatrists, yeah, they get scared. Yeah. Yes, I guess that's why we're not talking about behavioral coach. Yeah, yeah. 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 You yeah. make it easier. It looks like there's yes. a mental health problem. If there's a mental health uh, problem, it means you are mad. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Get help. These people, they, they, they have the tools to help you cope with whatever damage you experienced as a child that you are now unleashing on other people unknowingly. True. Get help. Okay, so but now that I'm talking about help, yeah. I, I, I'm just wondering, okay. uh, 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 Memuna, yeah. um, you, in your line of practice, you see this almost every day. I, what are the different forms of uh, you know, bullying or abuse, if you choose, in relationships in, in homes? Well, to, be honest, uh, to be honest, I don't do homes. The, the drama offices. is too much. I don't, I don't do homes. <laughs> the drama, I don't have to, I've, I've never finished my own drama for house. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you carry another person. I don't do homes, to be honest. Okay. But uh, if you talk about, I do self-development coaching. But somehow the home slips into the conversation mm -hmm. usually. So there are different types. But I just wanted to add quickly before I answer that, okay. when Devon said something about you know, sometimes you don't. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes don't. you don't. Or you because, pretend not to know. Oh, yeah, sometimes you pretend. But when you pretend, you actually know. Okay. But there are times you actually don't know. Okay. There are, when I was going through a hard time in my life, I, I became very toxic. I didn't even know. When my kids started running away from me, when I come to the house, when something, one small thing was wrong, I would just explode. So I did that without even knowing. So I had to go through under anger management coaching. I didn't know, to be honest. So how did you go through it if you didn't know? I, I did because someone just told me. One day I, I busted in, I, I met some lady, I took my children for a training because I'd always been big on personal development and then she was a coach. That was, I never even knew there were coaches then. And then I, she was trying to give me the location. I'm very bad with location. So I was struggling to find the venue for the program. So I was flustered. When I got there, I was like really irritated. So she just said, uh, mommy, and she, held, she said, can I hold your hand? Like, and she said, calm down, let's have a seat. And then she gave me water and I began to calm down. But she didn't say anything then. A few days later, she called me. She said, I just called mommy. How are you doing? I said, I'm, I'm okay. She said, can we see? And I said, sure. And then uh, she went to this mall. And believe me, she just said, how are you? And I busted into tears. Oh, my God. I busted into tears. I kept wailing and weeping. And there was mucus all over. You know, when you, you break yeah. down. So it does happen. You didn't know. I had this pent up anger. And I didn't even know. But it was showing up in my attitude. It was showing up in my relationships. I did not know. Mm. Until I went into therapy. And then the questioning. Why was I feeling this way? Because I never even sat up to think about it. All I know is that I was just... You know, we, we have this autopilot mode. We will survive. You know, somehow we will just keep going. We keep going. We will get over it. So I didn't know. So believe me, I know. There are times <laughs> you didn't know. You know, I'm really uh, very keen on uh, bringing it down home, which is why I'm asking the practical, maybe you can help me too, because I know you've uh, mm. you talked to a lot about children yeah. and adults. Yeah. Um, what are the practical 
display of bullying in our homes and offices? Well, there is verbal bullying. Verbal bullying. Yeah, verbal bullying okay. where you talk down on your partner, you talk down to your partner, you talk down to your children, you talk down on even to your house helps, the people that well, leave talking down. Let's when you talk down, yeah. 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 Talk down is when you reduce them to nothing with your words. Uh, without even respect. knowing respect. Yes. Yeah. Without respect. even knowing that you are reducing them. Oh you're stupid. Yeah. Oh you don't know anything. Oh all that is part of bullying because yeah. you are passing on a message to those children that they are not even aware of. You understand? Because once what happens is that when the child believes that, oh, after all, I've been told I'm stupid, I've been told, I know it's an African thing that we always like to verbalize and, you know, bring out our emotions and take it out on whoever is around us. But um, the moment that we realize that parenting is intentional, parenting is knowing what to say to people around you, whether they are your workers, whether they are your subordinates, whether they are your equals, whether it's your husband, whether it's your wife, whether it's your sister, whether it's your brother. The moment you realize that everybody is a human being and everybody deserves respect, there must be a consciousness. There must be a change of mindset. If it was done like me, like this to me when I was young, I want to go into my own and do something else. If I saw my father beat my mother, if I saw my father talk down on my mother, always tear her down, and she would go into the room and just feel worthless, then I want to go into my own home, knowing that I saw this happen. It must not happen in my own generation, in my own time, and to my own children or to the people around me. So there are many types. There's verbal, there's physical. There's emotional. There's, there's emotional. emotional. Yeah. All of this, all are bullying. And they how, all... How do you uh, achieve emotional bullying? Emotional bullying, of course, is sometimes the husband knows, let's, let's, because bullying starts from the home, really. Mm -hmm. It starts from the home. Mm -hmm. Everybody who is a bully has been traumatized somewhere. Wow. Everybody who is there, it does not just come. Wow. But again, I'll take it that it not all, not all the time, especially now that we have the internet, it's not all the time that it starts from the home. Mm. Sometimes it starts from even cyber bullying. But most bullies, a, a huge percent of bullies, actually, all of it started from the home. So basically, if you look at it and you say, oh, okay, fine. I want to be intentional with my parenting so that my child does not become a bully. Then you must know what and what to say to your child. Can I add something about yes. the emotional bullying? Yeah. You see, emotional okay. bullying is not necessarily physical or uh, verbal. Mm -hmm. It's action. Mm -hmm. When you know that, like, for example, in, in, example, in marriage, silence. <laughs> oh, that's why it's bad, though. It's emotional. It's <laughs> emotional it's bad. bullying. <laughs> When you, yeah. you shut someone at that, mm -hmm. out, so and bad. that person is wondering, what did I do? What did I do? And you leave the person like that in limbo. Mm. That's emotional bullying. Or, to even add to that, you know the person needs this. Take, yeah. for instance, we have a, mo a lot of mothers who are not buoyant financially. Yeah. Mm. And then you know that this person needs this so that this child can go to school. And then you intentionally, because the person you has upset it. you, yeah. you, you withhold, withhold what you know that person needs. That's and financial then, bullying. Exactly, that's financial <laughs> bullying. But what does it do? Emotional, it, it, yeah. It, it affects it you emotionally. affects you emotionally. Because mm -hmm. you know you're, you need to do these things. You need to pay your house rent sometimes. And your partner would intentionally withhold funds just to see, let me see how she will cope. Because he has already noticed that your temperament level is low. Sometimes he will work on it. Even in the workplace, it happens. When your bosses know that you need something, sometimes. And then they intentionally withhold this equipment, this monies, this, you know, things that will make your life easier. They intentionally withhold it. Maybe they are trying to train you. Oh my God. You know, last week I was emotional. Yeah. They're not going to cry again. No, 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 no. no. You, I, I already sent you text. No more crying. But you know, the thing that I always say is that yeah. no matter how strong somebody is, there's certain things in life that break you. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. There's certain things in life that break you. I was broken last week. I was even shocked when I watched it. And I was like, oh, I can't believe that. And everybody was saying, so you can be broken. And you see, like um, um, Devon said, um, the home. And I always use myself as an example. Because I always say, use yourself as an example. And it, it helps you in life. 
And what happened when I was growing up? I was growing up in the barracks where all you hear sometimes tantrums, <laughs> fights and all that. But I used to tell people, my parents were not fighting. Mm -hmm. But it was a lie. Oh, wow. It was a lie. That's why I said, parents must be intentional. Mm -hmm. Why? Children too are becoming intentional because no. they are coming the thing, the thing I noticed that what my parents were doing it in the bedroom. It was when I grew up then I now realized that, ah, this thing too was happening in my house. But one day I asked my mom why. Mm. She said, kids pick stuff. Yeah. It's what they learn. That's what they do outside. Mm. So they already knew that, you know what? Instead of us doing it in front of the kids, let's do it in the bedroom. Hush, hush. We tend to solve, we, we tend to solve situations. And I won't lie to you. you. It really, really helped growing up. Mm -hmm. Why do I say that? 80% of my friends are guys. And we talk a lot. And mm -hmm. I had a, a friend who was always beating his wife. His was so bad. He used to do it when they were eating. Yeah. And you know, all he does when she's talking, you just punch, punch her mouth. Wow. And all the kids were sitting there. That's not oh true. You know? Mm -hmm. And one day, the child who knew that I was very close to the father <laughs> walked up to me and said, Auntie, we have a problem. And I realized that daddy listens to you. And I said, what is it? And he says, when mommy used to smile, but she never smiles again. Mm -mm. And I said, why? He said, because all her teeth oh, wow. is gone. Oh, wow. God. And I said, why? He said, because the only time daddy tends to bring her down is they must eat together. And when she talks... The guy just punches her. And I was broken. Why was I broken? The child had to look for somebody who was close to the father to tell me. To so what I did, I walked up to my, to my friend who was a guy. I couldn't believe the response I had. This is a guy who is enlightened. This is a guy who is exposed. And the guy just told me, eh, but my, my father was beating my yeah. mom all through in life. But she survived. <clears throat> And you can see that this is what is happening everywhere. It's a vicious circle. It's a, that's the word. And bullying. And you see, from home, he's going to go to the office. Mm -hmm. If the guy can beat his own wife, what of the people who work with them? No, you see, the thing yeah. is, uh, some people are strategic. Yeah. I don't feel and that. I think these <clears throat> are the people that know it. They are sunshine and roses outside. outside. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the they are the life of the party. Yeah, the yeah. perfect person. Yeah. The perfect gentleman or yeah. the perfect lady. Yes. They never set a foot wrong. Yeah. Yeah. They are so polite. They are so courteous. <laughs> they are so this, that, and the next. Now, I don't know if it's that they absorb all the mess from outside. Side, and and so when they come home, they home, need just... to unleash. Because I don't want to believe that some people feel like, mm, let me have this one as a punching bag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it, it's just, Nothing we're human mm -hmm. beings. Yeah, so no, if people just, are yeah, being no. unpleasant to you, mm -hmm. and there are people who are in a position where you cannot retort, retaliate or anything, you'll absorb it, but there has to be an outlet somewhere. So you bring it home. True. And the minute your wife or husband says one foot wrong, bah, it triggers. you land on the person's head. Yeah. And you see, as we've been talking about bullying, I've, it, it has brought us back to just one place, abuse. Yeah. Yeah. Bullying is just another word for abuse. Yeah. All forms of abuse are bullying. Oh, he's a younger brother. So yeah. the other. One, the other. one is a younger brother the other. and the other one is senior. Mm -hmm. Yes, and okay. You see, with em emotional bullying also, the biggest one is that is this bit around not uh, being unresponsive being cold mm -hmm. uh being monosyllabic mm -hmm. and the, the nasty thing is sometimes you have not even told the person where they went wrong yeah that's the punishment yeah that's you the cruelty. Yeah. if you tell me i really dislike the way you spoke to me on the phone that day i had my friends around me i was on speakerphone and there you were blabbing off it made me feel bad so and so if you go into a sulk I'll understand this person Why? is still angry mm -hmm. despite the fact that I apologized. Mm -hmm. But it's really awful when you don't even know 
what it is you did wrong and then this person goes off on a tangent and is not talking to you for two straight weeks how do people live together and not and talk? talk. This doesn't make happens. sense. It happens. It happens. It happens. It's, it's, happens. Happens. it's reality. reality. It's reality. To be honest. Um, you will put your partner in a place where after a while, the person will get used to it. Yeah, so true. it could be traumatizing the first two, three times. Mm -hmm. But by the fourth time, it's like, I beg, it's, it's normal. Me. After yeah. I don't keep my list finished, you will begin yeah. talking. That's but why. The way you do that, what yeah. you, you find out that women will become wayward because of, Relationship is hinged Wayward. big time on communication. I disagree. No, I don't agree. For me, no. so if you don't find you know that man to talk to on a regular basis, you're going to look for somebody to talk. No, I disagree. I don't agree. Actually, I disagree. Actually, I disagree. Most you are going for that way. way. All the men See, you see the thing here now appealing. is that, um, luckily for us, <laughs> we have the internet. Yeah. You can watch all either the Z yeah, or people something. Yeah, people look for You look for some, That's the there word. Are people, okay. There are so people yeah, that cannot. Yeah. Yeah. There are yeah, some yeah, people that, that cannot. That that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, so that, you that, find out that if you're not yeah, talking to somebody that, else, yeah. Yeah. real life, yeah. they are posting their lives on exactly. internet. Okay, let me... Yeah. You know, now we're talking about husband and wife. Mm -hmm. Friends. There are some friends that are oh, toxic. Yeah. yeah. Serious bullies. You know, like... um. The time that you post picture, they, they, they zoom in on the picture. No, no, you see, you see the, something bad. Yeah. No, you see, the thing is that I, I don't know why people look at people's status and they block you seeing them that they're looking at your status. I, I find that a bit funny. Then the next thing is that they block themselves. Then they ask you questions about the status and you start to laugh. And you <coughs> see, somebody told me one day, you're always happy. Why are you always happy? Is, it a crime? is there a reason for you always to be happy is, in this is, country? Is it a crime? So you see, the thing here is that some people are not happy because this is who you are. So they always make sure that if you're in that setup, they try to bring you down. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, you're so big. Oh my God, you're so black. Oh my God, you're so this, this, that this. That person this. is not your friend. No. You see, no, 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 no. They're your friends. No. You see, the thing here is that sometimes... <laughs> no, 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 no. They are friends for different okay. occasions. Mm -hmm. yes. They are friends for different occasions. And the truth about it is that you cannot... Take, for example, you are in a workspace. And uh, you could have a friend in the workspace. And uh, maybe because you can't, you can't just come to work and not talk to anybody. Thank you. You understand? And those are who you call your friends in the workplace. And Felix. they are toxic. Some of them may be toxic, but you cannot avoid them. Yeah. Because they are around no, you. No, that person is an acquaintance. It's a colleague. No, see, you you are not see, you are you. No. no, the minute you start putting me down, you are you not my friend. Can I say something? Officially. You, officially. you, you take know. it to be officially. Yeah. And, and then take it to be conscious. Yes, the world is to be conscious. I'm talking for me. In my mind. The day you tell me one negative word, no, not so that means you are not a negative word. That means you will not have friends. No, that means you will not have friends. No, not a negative word. You know I'm sensitive about yeah. something. Yeah. Then you go out of your way to so. come at me about it, mm -hmm. and you are aware of how sensitive I am about it. I'll note it down. The second time it happens, you are not my friend. They don't care. Friends. No, I yeah, but I don't care either. They're actually careless. Yes. Because of that is how they are. Yeah, but now where they are in their life, or where they are in their life, also possible. That's where they are. Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. exactly. They, you know, their experiences. Then yeah. you don't know where I am in my life either. Yeah. So the thing is, if I was granting you access to yes. certain aspects I, of yeah. my I life, you. I will block those yeah. off. Yeah. You yeah. will know yeah. less about what's going on with yeah. me yeah. and yeah. so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. now, so that I don't keep giving you tools yes. and weapons for you to use against, against me. me. Now, because again, I've deciphered that this is who you are. Now again, <laughs> let's close up the husband-wife thing. Yeah. Because a lot of people, we didn't close it up, we just left it hanging. For a lot of people who are in those kind of situations, yeah. you can mentally block someone. Thank you. Yes, you can. You if on. you see someone <laughs> aggravates you, yes. if you see someone that always, uh, always disconnect, just disconnect. Yes, that's, that's exactly what I was saying. Exactly. That there will come a time when exactly. this person will become yeah. but jaded. But I wanted, I wanted us to finish that side so that anybody who is watching, yes. if you know, okay, this is what I do that makes this man beat me. This is what I do that makes this man always tear me down. I don't even want to hear that word. No, beat. no, no. But I don't want to hear that word. I don't even want to hear that word. That's her land. That's her land. So what do you do? You understand? Reality. If that's... Who said this man crazy. beats me? It's, it's, it's but crazy. Unfortunately, it's crazy. But I had, I've had a situation where someone close to me told me that his father would always beat his mother and they mm. had blood spots on their walls mm. all over the house. So? So, I mean... 
So, no, no. The good thing is I that will walk he away. decided I will that walk away. that was not going to be his own life. He's which different. is the yeah. intentional parenting. Mm -hmm. An intentional way of living that we're all talking about. about. So, basically, if you see that you have a partner or you have a work, uh, a colleague in the office that always tears you down or you have a partner in the house or wherever you are walk away you, to, you know before you even walk it's away the person has thrown so something easy. at you yeah can i but ask something you, about that yeah. you yeah. see yeah. i when i started my journey in neurolinguistic programming mm -hmm. i remember one of my coach and he was saying something about the yeah. fact that he also grew up in a violent home where mm -hmm. his father would beat his mother blue black and yeah. almost yeah. like tear her claude and things like that and then he vowed that he would never ever hit some people do that are you listening because mm -hmm. i'm just referring to your story yeah because this is you see the power of the subconscious mind the power of the events you you know you, you take in as a child they don't go away mm -hmm. true mm -hmm. they are stored in your yes yeah, yeah, that's, that's your auto autopilot yeah. Yeah. until one day he beat his girlfriend blue wow. and that day he sat down and began to weep because he just yeah, realized, realized he was turning into, into his father, his father. Mm -hmm. so you see it's not just being intentional mm. You have to keep practicing and practicing. Yeah. It's just like yeah. uh, somebody who is uh, who, who has taken drugs <coughs> yes. and is trying to uh, yeah. stop. You know, sometimes you, have, you may have a relapse. Yes. Mm. Because your subconscious mind, that is the, you see, this is the, the tragic part of trauma and violence. You cannot unsee it. You can, yeah. uh, there's yeah. a video yeah. I did on my Instagram handle. You cannot mm, unsee what it. you have seen. Yeah. You cannot unhear what you have heard. heard. It's already embedded permanently. Your system. So you just keep trying every day to be better. I'm saying this so that people can come from a place of empathy for themselves. Mm -hmm. we, nobody, we, there's nobody with no fall in your hand. Yes. Mm -hmm. There are times True. I have done something, even I say, ah, oh me, oh me, you, ha you don't fall my hand. No, everybody. You know, knows. so everybody. the ability to accept that, okay, we've done wrong. Yeah. And now I'm now talking as a person, as a human being, as a parent, as a wife, as a colleague, because all of us sitting here have done a, an act of bullying. Of course, of course. Yes. I, 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 I don't bully. Yeah. You would know. <laughs> you wouldn't no. you know, you wouldn't these know. are things that we do sometimes without even knowing. And yeah. you don't even intend to do it. Mm -hmm. exactly. You see you see what you say. What is a one of our mistakes? Yeah. You so, not, um, do you know some, an something happened like um two years ago? We had a friend that uh, our fr our classmates came in from abroad and we had some reunion, a reunion in the house. We we're like six mm -hmm. girls. And two of us who are in that class don't have kids and one of the person just snapped and said ah, when i don't say time don't go people better find a way if you have to adopt or you do something surrogacy because you know when you're old and i looked at her and i said how do you people open your mouth and talk it's it's already crazy that you are not married then you just talk like that. So the other person that was with me, my other classmate, is a bit of a withdrawn, you know, they give her, they throw her things and she takes them. Mm -hmm. I didn't. And I said, look, you see, you brought us here for a reunion, for us to sit down, chit chat, you know, talk about all things. And you, you think because you have kids, you're, you're already, you're puffed up. Self-made. You know, you're already feeling that you're self-made and you're, you're better off than the ones who don't have kids. So you see, bullying is everywhere. And that's why I said something that you can still be bullied. Your friends can still bully. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. True. Hey. You know, as a rider to what you said, yeah. you know, about the person who witnessed his mother mm -hmm. beaten to a pulp mm -hmm. regularly and mm -hmm. such and took a vow that mm -hmm. will never happen. Mm -hmm. Let me paint you another scenario of bullying. Do you know that in many instances, those mothers-in-law become resentful <laughs> when they notice that their sons have turned out better, better, better than the men they yeah. Yeah. And then the daughter-in-law becomes a problem. Yes. yes. She's having it better than I did. Yes. My son doesn't even beat her. And yes. she has the nerve to say he didn't come back home last night. Mm. Who is this? Mm. Do you know what his father used to do to me? Mm. Sometimes even your mother will be the one to tell you that. Yeah. You can't complain. Me. Ah, this one, no. And this, this. Mm -hmm. Your father had three girlfriends at the same time. At the point he moved in with one, you are lucky. At least he gives. You understand? All these things are bullying, mm. and some bullying comes from places of resentment, mm -hmm. deep-seated resentment. Mm -hmm. It could even be your own mother that gave birth to you. Yeah, Notices that maybe your dad mm. loves you more. Or, oh, it happens. You know, and yeah. <coughs> if mm. if if a mother is having issues with the father, in many instances. Ropes. 
that child he loves the most or the it one that looks choose. like him it most takes, or the one that takes, leans toward him most yeah. now becomes, becomes the target mm -hmm. the target yeah your mother will hate you you won't know why you can never do anything right beating you she has an issue with the man she can't beat him <laughs> so she's you are seven you. years yeah. old <laughs> she will beat, beat you. you yeah anyway that cop you broke three days ago she will remember today and she will beat you for at least 30 minutes <laughs> That's why everybody must self heal. You yeah. understand? Heal. Yeah. You see, it's not you easy to. It's not easy. 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 To control their anger okay. in front of their children, and he says his name is uh, S K Omar Wuse Abuja. He, he writes every week. We are on. I'm, I'm seeing all his write up. Yeah. Thank you for being very consistent with us, and I'm enjoying your program. I have been bullied by husband, emotionally frustrated, <laughs> financially, <laughs> which cost me high BP to some extent. This is really bad. Yeah. I was transferred. I was transferring the aggression to my children, but I have to sit back, advise myself, and draw the children closer to myself. Uh, that's, uh, she says she's that writing from Abuja. You know, I, she just uh, uh, emptied what she said. But the truth is, we should understand that when it comes to children, there's no need to transfer. Because those children will actually be your anchor. They revive your emotion if you know how to handle it. And I always say to men, on the day of your wedding, mm. they say two mm. becomes one. So invariably means to me that if you're hitting your wife, you're also hitting yourself. Uh -huh. If you're mm. talking down on your wife, you're also <laughs> talking down on yourself. That's my yeah. thoughts. No, that's really. that's 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 and I, 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 I noticed that. So yes. not I noticed. Yeah. I know. We know. I said yeah. if you're talking we down. And most I of the time, time is um, financially. You know, most of the time when the women have more money, it, it happens, happens to you. Yeah. You know, huge the other thing again is you have to have a seat. Because you see, it has to do with also your self-esteem. Yeah. If you're a poor man with a rich woman, now you carry yourself Yes. Right, yeah. and then you don't expect her to be like a woman who doesn't have, yeah. because when you're empowered, you're yeah. more assertive. That's the honest yeah. truth. Yeah. You know, um, like I was saying that um, a lot of times, yeah. we have this uh, effect of sea finish, yeah. getting in. Yes, it, it's no matter how close or familiar your wife, your husband has become to you, yeah. he should always a, a woman should always see the husband as the king, mm -hmm. and your wife as your queen. queen. And what it means that the, the devotion, the reference you give to a king or a queen should never change. True. You know, the, at, at the end of the day, yeah, that's how it should be. At the end of the day, some people take people for granted. Mm. Never take anybody for granted. Just because you come around, she's always there for you. Mm -hmm. And you think that she's, she's what, nothing. Yeah. Wait until she leaves the house. I'll tell you a story of uh, a colleague of mine. You know, long ago, she's retired. I'm going to call him. She told me that consistently her husband will always verbally abuse her and his mom didn't like it. Mm. They tried to talk. It wasn't That's working. Nice. Mm. You know, one day the mother said, come to the village. She went off, went to the mother's village and sat down there. After two days, the husband didn't see her. The husband came to see the mom. The mother said, leave my house. And he said, no, I want to go back with her. And the mother said, when you go with her, you only end up verbally abusing her. He said, that's the problem. These days I wake up, I don't see anybody to talk to. <laughs> nobody to quarrel uh, with. Oh so I want gosh. to go back with my wife. To anyway, <laughs> at the end of it, they had a resolution, you know, that it won't happen again. And they went back together. If it continues to happen, I don't know. But I think that a lot of times, somebody that is always there for you, whether it's your child, mm -hmm. whether it's your colleague, whether it's your friend, that person deserves all the honor, all the treasure. Another kind of bullying I notice sometimes in the offices, sometimes at home. If um, I feel maybe joy, not your own joy, it's not good enough for a job. And I haven't really tested you. If I want to give assignments, I'll give it to Devon. Even when you show up first, I say, mm, please, I don't want this work to spoil. Devon, please let me do it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes joy might actually do it better. You consistently push joy to yeah, a yeah, corner. Yeah. You consistently do that and make Devon shine. You know, that's uh, 
that's it may not be verbally you know uh, verbal bullying but somehow you're running down this person's self-esteem and you're bullying her professional um, emotionally you know, but you know there are sometimes you have um, um, a boss in the office you might see the the, the um, excellence of that person mm -hmm. and you feel that if you keep giving this girl the job she might outshine you really oh yes it does happen and so you know what you rather give the person that is not going to do a better job. Can I add something to what you said earlier? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that some people that are watching this will not go and leave their house. <coughs> house. Let us receive sense. There are some people that when you leave, they may miss you and they will come for you and get so you. There are some people it's good reasons to bad rubbish. So you have to be sure you are ready to leave. No, but in this case, she was in his mother's house. So she had to join in. No, she, 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 didn't, she didn't leave the marriage. You don't back. get it. I swear to yes, you. Yes, I'm telling you. You can be in his mother's yes. house and he can move on. So most of the time, be sure. Just stay yeah, there. if you are going, yes. know that uh, he may not come for you. So, so when like, you move on with your you, life, walk yeah. away. Yeah. Because there are different I, I kinds still, of men. I still say one thing. Yeah. You see, even if you don't want to, if you can afford to leave the environment, sometimes that may work against you. Yeah. Sometimes it may work for you. Yeah. For you. you know, but you must know the partner you are married to. Yeah. From the first day, you people must sit down to talk. We are talking about this because a lot of people did not know their partners very well before they got married. Now, even the ones that know. People yeah, change. Yeah, people, people change. change. People change. change. Well, people. Well, there are some fundamentals <clears throat> that remain the same. Except for maybe the man suddenly lost his job or something bad just happened to him. There are some fundamentals. There are some people some, you don't know. And yeah, there are some, and a see, few people, people change. A few people. people because believe me, some people had seen their men. When they were boyfriend and girlfriend, already slapping and them. They, and they, and they went in. And they yeah. went and in. It was okay. A lot of people yeah. already see that. Yes. Once you see someone maltreats you before, whether it's physical, whether it's verbal, whether it's emotional, before you enter into a relationship, know that is what you are going to <coughs> enter they will into. They will and then most importantly, mm -hmm. it's not just how he treats you. Yeah. Because how I'm talking to the people. people are, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. talking to the people who are not yet in this. Yes. Most importantly, <laughs> it's not just how he treats you. How does he treat the people around him? That's it. How is family unit? Yes. How <laughs> do they operate? Yeah. How are they living amongst themselves, even as siblings? All yes. of these are indications. Very, very key. All of these are indications. Yes. When he's on the road and he has a road rage, how does he? How does he behave? But people, see, yes, people you change. See? People yes, change. That is why. So that if somebody is out there exactly. having a very bad relationship, mm -hmm. it doesn't necessarily mean he will not. He can change, but yeah. he has to want it for himself. Exactly. So that is where the intentional yeah. comes in. Now, mm. when he, when he, that's for people now who are not yet in this situation. Yeah. For people who are in these situations, and well, some people believe in till death do us part. Some people believe, oh, there is never a divorce in my family. We can never do this. That's fine as well. You have to know what triggers your partner and yeah. avoid it. Okay. Take yourself away from that circumstance. Mm -hmm. Once you see that he's getting to that stage, some women, some men, they want to talk back, talk yeah. back, talk back, talk yeah. back, and then you have this back and forth. What you can do is remove yourself from the talking back and mm -hmm. just adopt a different attitude. Most especially, mentally block the person. Develop yourself. Develop other interests. Develop things that take you away, away from, from okay. what you are going through. True. Okay, I want to, I want to chip into what mm -hmm. you just yeah. said. Um, like the normal me, I use myself as an example. Yes, um, years ago, I had somebody who I liked and, um, the guy, the guy was <coughs> reducing me, yeah. but I didn't get it. Yeah. If I go out, I'll wear glasses because <laughs> I knew so many people. I couldn't greet anybody. Mm -hmm. But why did I do that? Because society makes you feel that for your age, you're supposed to be married. Mm -hmm. So I just looked at it and the guy said he was going to marry me and mm. I was super excited. So I had to do things that no. were going to please him. Mm. But there was something I noticed. You go to his house today. Megad has changed. Wow. Cook has changed. Mm -mm. Driver has changed. I'm trying to, yeah, yeah, you know. I understand. And I will sit down and say, ah, why, why, is this, wife to why is it? So, and I said, if this guy, everything is changing. One day, mm -hmm. the wife is going to marry. We'll change. We'll change. Mm -hmm. But there was something the guy now did. I am big up on cooking. And I like chicken. He likes fish. So this day, I just took the um, spoon that I was using mm -hmm. for his own fish to turn my chicken. And the next thing I saw was a big slap. Wow. wow. Oh, yes. It was a big slap. Wow. Seriously? And here I was. Did you give him back? No, I was, talk. That was talk. No, okay. she, she, will, look. she will give back 
it will reach the I was in the kitchen. He, he will be struggling. And you don't know, give back. This is the kind of situation where your mind See, goes numb. Yeah, yeah you don't shocked. give back. Be because shocked. of where I, 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 I came out from a home that was love. Mm. I came out from a home that my father says a woman must never be beaten. And I am cooking for this man. <laughs> and the next thing I saw was a slap. Wow. That wasn't a man. That was well, <laughs> real men so don't be too What I'm trying to say is that most women see these things. This guy knows and how to ahead. run down somebody. Everybody knows I love football. The first thing I used to do in NTA was analyze football. The guy refused to pay for DSTV. Wow. And so, what we're saying... He refused or he was broke? He, he wasn't broke. He refused. He Why? Now. Because he now, now realized that mm -hmm. that was my interest. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you see, let me tell you. I couldn't believe it that they're human beings like this. And there's something I noticed, like she said, he wasn't close to his family. Exactly. So, exactly. you know, what I want to tell people now is that we see these things. Mm -hmm. The only problem is that we keep a bland eye. Yeah. What if so if you know what's good for you, you walk away. You know, exactly. uh, uh, let, let's uh, quickly it. pay this thing, uh, um, homage to our online friends. Someone says, yeah, his name is Emmanuel. As men, we must become advocates for gender justice. We must find ways to challenge the injustice women and children experience as it is imperative for the future of this country. We need to engage our young boys and men to step up and take the, the rightful places in advancing women and children's rights. Women need to be liberated and not only be confronted with sexism, domestic violence, no one deserves to be beaten, no. belittled, no. or battered. We are all worth, worthy of love, yes. kindness, and respect. Emmanuel, please, are you married? <laughs> <laughs> because... I need many men like uh, 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 <laughs> uh, 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 right. this. matchmaking was uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Good morning, my queens in the house. It's so sad to hear that some men beat their wives. Any man that beats his wife is an antichrist. Favor, Lame. Sunday from Abuja, and then we still move on to uh, take more. All right, uh, let's quickly uh, respond to uh, some of those uh, stuff. You how can we build, you know, men, boys, to be able to grow up and love their wives and treat them well? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, um, oh, sorry. Okay. The good thing is, I honestly believe the version of men we have today is much better. Than our father's generation mm. yes yes mm. yes and let me explain when i see small small girls on social media saying eh, eh, men complain that uh, women today are not like their mothers oh. uh, them are they like their fathers you should be thanking god they're not like their fathers your your back then your husband will beat you to a pulp you run home to your parents to they'll beat send you, you back. tie you up bring you back and beg the man oh. They will not even ask him what happened. As far as they are concerned, the fact that he beat you up at all means you were in the wrong. Yeah. He has a right to chastise you, and many of them took that right. You could not ask him where he was coming from or where he was going to. He could sleep outside as much as he liked. You had no right to, to so much him. as frown. Mm. Your mother will be the first person to tell you not to go and embarrass her. <laughs> yes. So you shut up and you took as much abuse as you could. The reason why there were no divorces back then was not because the women were so happy in yeah, their marriages. It was because no, if no, you no, go, no, your parents would bring, bring you back. back. So you yeah. learned quickly that there was nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. So I want to praise the men of today. <clears throat> they are much, much, they are an upgrade to what from fathers. what I saw in my mm. father's generation and in my grandmother's generation, because my grandmother used to tell me stories, she ran away from two husbands. <laughs> yes. So as far back as then, the woman was a rebel. If she not understand you, they beat her too much, she run. Yes. So I've heard stories. The men today are much better. I see men take an active role in parenting. You'll see a man in church carrying his baby and thing. Before it was almost a taboo. What are you doing that the man is carrying the baby? You know, like last so week, the men today are better, but there's still room for improvement. For more. Yes. You know, last week, NTA was discussing on one of our flagship programs, Weekend Deal, and they had to talk about uh, the sacrifice of the fathers and the love of a mother. And one thing I, that caught up with me was that a lot of the male producers there we're all clamoring for maternity, uh, paternity leave. Yes. yes. And yes. I was asking, what are you going to yes. do? Are you, are you My husband and was part of the National Confab. 
some years back during good luck jonathan's time and he suggested this paternity leave what do they and do? they practically laughed him out of the no place. but what do the men no do? the thing is this. No, they do a lot what they, do they, they do because a lot. they can't change no they can't change, change what they can't change, change what ah, no, let no. me land now no. let me land <laughs> international organizations make room for paternity yeah. leave mm -hmm. which even if it wasn't occurring to the man before it will occur to you that you have a role in helping your wife heal mm. within this time that she's very vulnerable yeah, yeah. but we are used to this help her Mughal culture where mm. you bring mama from god it mm -hmm. could even be one of the mothers that she's not and compatible i do with. and i do mind is the devil's work and if you are really if you are really <laughs> unlucky yeah, if you are really unlucky mama changing. will come for Mughal and she will become a guest and you look after that baby and you and look, look after, after her. Yes. And when after three yeah. months, you will look for money and give her and buy her gifts mm -hmm. and everything. So the idea, even if men don't already know, is that you've been given this paternity leave. Responsible men will actually make use, make, make use of okay. that time now, me, to look after the woman. So, yeah, sorry, okay. Let me add to that. You said something. You said, how can we, we, how can we raise successful the boys. Boys, boys into responsible men? <clears throat> the first thing you have to do is to be intentional with your boy child. How do you, you find in a lot of homes that people say, oh, boys are not supposed to do yes. this. Yes. Oh, because it's a it's man. 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 So do this. It's still going because on. Now, if you can look at it that he's not just a man. man. He's going to be a father. father he's going to be a yeah. husband. He's going to be somebody's partner. Then you now begin to raise him in the way yeah. where he can cohabit with a woman in future. Yes. By giving him responsibilities, Liberty. even as a child, to be yeah. able to function as an adult. Yes. Now, what am I saying? You say, oh, he should not be allowed into the kitchen. kitchen. Why shouldn't he be, be allowed but into he the eats. kitchen? He's going to eat tomorrow. Yes. He, he needs to be able to do some things in yes. the kitchen to be able to fend for himself. Yeah. And uh, if you put that consciousness into him that, oh, you can do this, you can help out, you can actually sweep, you can do this and just not leave it to the girl child because that is where a lot of this comes from because when the man now goes into becoming an adult he believes that he believes that it's a woman's job to do all these things yes. and then he begins to push everything on the, on the woman, woman and the woman gets frustrated yes. because there is no way there is all of this work it's that she has much. to do of by herself can, can yes. i add something yes you yes. said it's because he's going to become a father yeah i have mm. always said it see becoming mm. a father being a father are two different things. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, I believe for us to raise children who are going to be sensitive, right? Yeah. It's basically emotional intelligence. Yes. When we raise children to understand that mm -hmm. they should be aware of how they feel mm -hmm. and how their feelings affect mm -hmm. the people around them yeah. and how yeah. other people yes. feel. I think that's yeah. one of the first steps to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Raise children who are sensitive. Raise children yeah. who can understand that being vulnerable <coughs> is not a weakness, but a, a, a power. Because we, I, we so, have been raised in societies where when a man cries, he is weak. Mm. When a man shows concern, he is weak. So we have to teach our kids to understand that it's no weakness. You are a human being. You are allowed to feel bad. You are allowed to cry if you need to, and it doesn't make you weak. Mm. Fantastic. You know, mm. add to, add to that, really, we must um, be <coughs> conscious. Emotional intelligence is very important. Knowing that, okay, we can actually talk to this. So people will say, oh, men should not cry. Why shouldn't a man, why shouldn't a man voice out his emotions? If he's feeling a certain kind, why shouldn't a boy voice out his feelings, voice out what he's going through? Okay, if he's so I'll, uh, sorry to cut you off, but I'll take just this one last message and then we'll yeah. wrap it up. Yes. So we have a message here from Evangelist from Joss. He or she says, this program is so enlightening. I didn't know that the silent treatment in marriage is a form of emotional bullying. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm mm -hmm. glad you learned something. I am better equipped to treat my partner in a more loving way. And that's where we will be wrapping up, up the show today. this morning. We hope that uh, you had a good time. Joy. I had a fantastic time and I learned a lot. I learned a lot too. And shout out to my good friend, Patience. Mm -hmm. This rapper we have put for Bodina Shigi. <laughs> <laughs> so also, coach. It's always uh, it's always a pleasure to be here, honestly. Fantastic. I mean, develop yourself mentally, physically, emotionally to avoid all types of bullying. And of course, our dear Liz is waving us. Yes. And we want to say happy 50th. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Bye.